We're tracking a consumer alert. Every single 99 cents Oli store is now closing. Our Lillian Donahue went out to hear from shoppers on how this might impact them. Long lines and closing signs at the 99 cent only stores in Phoenix. They're just closing these places down and where are you going to go? Longtime customers sad to see the stores shutter. It's yeah. extremely frustrating. For folks, this is more than a minor inconvenience. This is for some where they can do most of their shopping. For necessities like food. The fresh food and like um, hygiene products. With grocery prices 30% higher than a decade before, Billy Jo Kesso tells me she's worried about finding basics in her fixed budget. Because I'm on disability and this is the only place I could afford and then I'm on, I'm on other um, government programs. 99 Cent Only Store CEO cited changing shopping habits after COVID and consistent pressure from inflation as reasons for shutting down. Nothing is actually even 99 cents anymore. Right. Like even the cards that used to be 50 cents or a dollar, even these are $2 now. The company isn't alone. Nearly 1,000 family dollars plan to close nationwide. Every place that you can get cheap things at, they're making it inaccessible. And Dollar Tree is increasing maximum prices up to $7. So I hear the places raising their prices and then people can't afford it. It's a sign of the times. Those times, economist and professor Dennis Hoffman tells me, are bringing climbing supply costs, higher wages, and a shift to shopping online. It squeezes margins uh, at stores uh, like convenience stores at, 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 our, re at our retailers. And, uh, you know, bigger bigger box retailers, the Costco's, the Walmart's uh, are, are probably um, better equipped to, to handle this, uh, these these headwinds. Hoffman says he doesn't expect those headwinds to let up anytime soon. Reporting in Phoenix, Lillian Donahue, ABC 15, Arizona.